gosh darn it. I was hoping, hoping to do that for at least a minute. I know. And then not work. I know. You know what would be even funny if all of a sudden we both turned around and looked at each other at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, bro. We just, uh, we try to do it at least for a minute and did not work. Maybe it'll, maybe we'll do better next week. Right. We, we're going to keep doing that. Next, uh, we're going to keep doing that until we get it right. Right. You know? Right. All right. Uh, I guess, I guess we've started. What's going on, everybody? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into Wrestling 4 with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum 05. Hello. And welcome to another talk show, the 48th one we're doing. And I, oh, how, sorry, Zach. I'm just, hold on a second. Can okay? you, uh, what? my hand now, please? What? You let me put my hand down, please. Sorry. So, anyways, oh no, actually, okay. So, anyways, welcome to welcome to another talk show. Uh, yes, it is Thursday, June 29th, twenty seventeen, and uh, getting very close to July. We'll start this Saturday, Zach. How you doing today? I'm good. How about yourself? I just got an itchy nose. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, it happens, you know. You know, it is what it is. Uh, so, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are enjo gonna enjoy this week's talk show um, and so forth. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I guess let's get on in the talking. So, uh, we just got back from our trip, right? San Francisco, San Simeon, stuff like that. Uh, I was in Sonoma most of the weekend, though. Uh, it was a good time. Um, although, I want to save the. Uh, the uh, the Sonoma trip topic for after half an hour into the show and all like that. But, uh, Zach, I guess before I get to start talking, how was, your, how was your last few days? My last few days have been good. No yeah. problems whatsoever. Yeah. Did you do anything and all that? Well, of course. San Francisco-wise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, went to, I went walking at the city twice. Right. <laughs> you walk the city twice. Right, Saturday and Sunday. Right. What did you What did you do while walking? I just went to walk around the city. That's what I like to do every year. Right, I know, but did you do other things? Like, did you go to places, I should say? Well, I was going to visit that Wells Fargo History Museum, but it's closed on the weekends. Well... It's closed on Sundays, but Saturdays you have to make an appointment to, in order to go in. That's stupid. I would agree. Uh, I would agree. But That's... whatever. Yeah, and there's always next year. What? Always next? No. You never know. No. 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 Yeah, we'll see. No. Anyways, um, so, oh gosh, she's here. Oh gosh, Zach, it's 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 boss lady. Hello, it's, boss lady. It dumb woman. I mean, I, I mean, wonderful woman. What? 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 You better say wonderful woman. Sorry. Uh uh uh. I'm sorry. I had to do that. Actually, Great! Have to do that. Uh, no, I did have to do that. Nope. Yes, I did. Nope. I did nope. have to do. I yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. Hey, look at those. Hey. Look at, no, no. Look at those cheeks. Speaking of that, I had a reenactment photo the other day of that. Oh God! I know. Oh yeah. We're gonna have yeah. to show that, guys. I bet you. If if any of you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen it. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Look! Oh my god. We were. This was in the car the other day. Look, I I seem pretty happy. He touches his cheeks, and then uh, you know that that that's cute. That's cute, right? That is adorable. Let's get closer. Can't you tell Zach is having a good time? I'm obviously having a good time. Uh, yep. Yeah, that that was that 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 was cute. That that was cute. I'll show you cute. What? You think the, this is cute? To put that put that wrist down. Put the fist down. Anyways, so 
First off, I it's just knows that what do you gotta watch? I don't know. You're even if even if I have a watch on, I probably will still have this habit of pulling out my phone and checking out the time. Like, oh, it's four or five. Yeah, this is brand new. It's not old. It's just like an old school kind of watch, though. It's just old school what looking. What the heck happened to your finger? Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus, stop cutting yourself, man. Well, I not that. Well, I, I mean, look what you look what you did with that. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Is that, that's not the bird finger. No, that's not Guys, the bird don't get, finger. Don't get so. confused with that. Yeah, apparently. A splinter. A, spl a splinter went in there. Yeah. Well, I was cleaning up the hotel room in San Simeon before the housekeeping came in. So I was trying to put our stuff away for them to clean the room. And what did you do? Well, see, I tried to put my backpack in one of the d drawers on the dresser, and yet, before I closed it, got myself a splinter. Right. Ah, oh, Zach. A splinter. Really? Well, it's not like I need to get in on purpose. Right. It things happen. Well, and, I'm just saying. What? Okay. Things do sure. happen. Uh, sure. Okay. Um. Anyway, so did you do anything else while we were gone on the trip? Like, like, are you talking about in San Francisco or San Simeon? Anywhere, just anytime. Well, in San Francisco, of course, I like to go visit Pier Thirty Nine. Oh, sorry, I was itchy. And let's see. And of course, when we, when I was walking around the city, I usually go up to the Transamerica Pyramid Tower. Uh huh. And I was gonna go into that little seating area, you know, you know where the fountain is, but it was closed for whatever reason. I don't know why. But oh well, you know. Right. And of course, that on Sunday was the Pride Parade, so of course it was gonna be crowded. The Pride Parade. I didn't have to go to that. I was in Sonoma on that Sunday. Yeah, this is where you and Dad go every year. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Anyways, um... So... You're... So... Now that San Francisco... I, did you do anything out of San Francisco? Well, of course, I went to the Garadelli Square. Right. Like we go every year. Let's see... What we got here? Hold on, let me, uh... See, what else do I need? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll t oh, yeah, look, I mean, look what we met, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, show them that. Oh, look at that. This was around Fisherman's Wharf. Guys, remember, oh, God, right. dogs' lives matter. By the way, the dog I'm holding, his name is Miss Pickles. The dog Zach's holding... His name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Don't ask why. That was their names, but of course that's a guy in a dog costume. With a giant's hat. Because dogs' lives matter, right? But, uh, yeah. Interesting. It's actually holding a panda, too. Yeah, with sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah. With sunglasses on, just chilling. Swag, you know, but my dog was Miss Pickles, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger. You were only say you held the the past government of California. Yeah, governor, I should say. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's interesting, Zach. So he no longer works for the government. No. I wonder how long ago he retired from that. <laughs> Have you not been following? Our governor, our government in California. Well, of course I have, but gosh. But uh, anyway, so Miss Pickles and Arnold Schwarzenegger was the dog's name. Why would they name that? I don't know. I don't care. But guys, dogs' lives matter. Hey, if the names work out, then they work out. I yeah, mean... but I would not name my dog Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maybe Miss Pickles, okay, may maybe, but Arnold Schwarzenegger, no, I would not name my dog that. I'm serious, I would not name my dog that. That dog does not look like an Arnold Schwarzenegger either. Let me just tell you that much right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, okay, what else did you do, Zach? 
Well, I went back to that old boat, Eureka, like I went last year. Right. And there was two boats that I was actually going to go to, but they were both closed Jesus. for maintenance. Which kind of sucks, though. I was so looking forward to going to those boats. In fact, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here. I know one of the boats' name is Hercules, and I think it was built Sorry. in 1915, if I'm... If I can remember, I don't know, but I'll show you what Hercules looks like. This is the boat, Hercules. That does not look like Hercules. Well, I'm just saying. Said, Joe. What? I'm just saying. Okay, and here's, what the? here's another boat that I was going to try to go on as well. I can't remember um, the name of this one, though, but I know this one was built in... Um, 1886. Right. Um, I'm gonna put you on timeout for real quick. Why is it? Look in here. <laughs> Did you think I was just spilled? What's Good in there? Lord! There's a bug in here. How long has that been in there? I have no. There's clue. literally a dead fly floating in my melted ice water. Wow. It's very. It's small. What is it? Look. Look. You can see yeah. it in there. Look at it! It's all in the middle! I, all I can say is, ew! That's, um, right. Um, I'm gonna that is not... That's nasty. That's disgusting. I was gonna drink the rest of the melted ice water, but I don't think I'm gonna do that again. Bull crap protein my butt, Mom! I'm not... No, it's not happening! Oh. Look at uh, this Volkswagen bus that I took the other day. Hold on, if we can get this to focus, hopefully it can. It's like going back in time to the 60s, you know what I mean? Because it's got the 60s originality on it. I can't get it focused for a reason. It sucks. Oh, I want to show you guys a big, huge boat, too. And I thought at first it was a hotel, but it was actually a private residence boat. But this is what it looks like. The world. But yeah, that's a pretty huge boat. Um, what is it? No, no, nothing. Never mind. Just go on. Well, you said um, so... No, just... You're good. Alright, let's just, see. Uh, just very disappointed. Okay. McDonald's, what are you trying to do to me? Kill you? No kidding. What? Oh, that that's not it. This... Oh. Pico guacamole pure flavors bullets signature crafted recipes. Get our app from uh, for offers nutrition info and more. Go, go, go. How are we doing? Just go to McDonald's.com or call one eight hundred two four four six two two seven. Yeah, I would like to call and say, hey, there's a bug in my sweet tea. Sweet tea. Whatever. I want to show you guys something, but this was long before we left for our trip. This was actually at the Automobile Driving Museum almost two weeks ago during Father's Day. There's me behind the wheel of the 1962 Chevrolet Impala Convertible. Yeah. So, what was that? Hmm. What was I that? I failed it. Ah, don't you dare do You that. touched me here, too. Don't oh. try to get to your armpit, you dumb dumb. Well, apparently you got I know, here. I failed. I failed at trying yeah, to get yeah, to your Yeah, yeah, you're armpit. weird. Stop it. Joe? How about you stop it? Stop it. Joe? Sh what? Stop it. Uh, I wanted God. to show you, Eureka, just one more boat. It's the one I've been... Do before. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find a picture of it. This is gross. Gross. Yeah, the bug in your drink. That is nasty. So Snapchatting that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, come on, focus. Oh, come on, focus on the other picture, but why not this one? But anyways, this is Eureka. I wonder if you could see a little better like this, hopefully. I'm gonna try one more time. Never mind. You want know screw it. Never Pretty sure you all get the idea. Never mind. <sighs> Whatevs. Um, uh, alright, so we're like fifteen minutes into the talk show. How about let's have some questions and answers? 
no this or that questions, no politics, no dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb questions. Have questions that make sense, and we would truly like to answer you. If you have a question for me or for Zach or for the both of us, feel free to ask us anything. Uh, I will discuss about NASCAR Heat 2 in a few minutes, uh, but let's have some other questions besides NASCAR Heat 2, please, uh, because I'll be discussing that in a few minutes. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, and I'll also be talk. We'll also be talking about Sonoma. Uh, we get Forza Seven. Yes. Is Miss Fritter from Cars Three evil? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's kind of a you know what. Yeah. I like the cover of NASCAR Heat Two. Oh yeah. By yeah. the way, I'll. When, when we talk about the game, I'm going to have to show you guys something. Well, like, will we get Rocket League for the Switch? Don't know. And what he means by that is Nintendo Switch. Walk around vlogs. When did I ever do walk around vlogs? Who knows? I mean, yeah, you see me walking around holding a camera during vlogs, but they're not technically called walk around vlogs. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Did, we, did I enjoy Sonoma? I did. It was nice weather, too, for once. Yeah. Because it's always hot up there, but it was actually pretty nice. It was pretty nice when I went walking in San Francisco as well. Oh, yeah. Minecraft Let's Plays on my channel, guys, will be coming back sometime in the next couple weeks, uh, since now I have more free time to get back into that. When did I get the Ryan Blaney shirt? I got it. Did I get that? I don't remember if I got it at Phoenix or Fontana when I went to one of those races. I can't remember. I feel like I got this at Phoenix, though. Can't remember. Um, uh, no, I'm not watching the, the 2004 Daytona 500 throwback because I'm doing talk show, but I am, I am recording it. Meet some drivers at Sonoma? Yeah, only a few. I noticed that you met Jeff Gordon. Ah, uh, Jesus. Oh, shoot. What happened? I accidentally had someone as moderator. Thank you. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, see. Let's see, what do we got? Do you think Dale Jr. will win at Daytona this weekend? Maybe so, could happen. He had a decent car in the 500, but got caught up in that wreck. Was it like meeting Jeff Gordon? It's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice guy, too. Took the time for me to get a picture with him. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought at first you said Brian Griffin, but it's Blake Griffin. Yeah, Blake Griffin. Sorry. By the way, guys, I'm not the only one here. If you have a question for Zach, feel free to ask him a question. I mean, I know I'm much... I'm cuter. It's... But, uh, but listen. Handsome. No. Don't even pull that crap. Uh, the Cars 3 video game is alright. Yeah, we, we done that for Versus. We did that for Versus. That was last week's Versus, yeah. too. Uh, Lightning McQueen. <laughs> I mean, who else? I like Cruz Ramirez, actually. Yeah, I know you do. Cruz Ramirez is good. My favorite type of sports car? Would a Dodge Challenger count as a sports yes. car? Yes. Yes. It's te I mean, muscle, sports, you know. Same thing, basically. Right? Yes! Okay. Yeah. Why would I say that? Well, excuse me. If it wasn't a sports car, I would say no. But it is, so it's yes. Oh, okay, so. Stupid. Um, come on, you know about cars! I do. God. Hey, not as stupid as you are. 
Yeah, Zach would be going the Bristol Motor Speedway with me. Yeah. Well, I should have answered that myself. I don't care. I answered it, okay? Oh, why did you bring that up? Do you like hugs? Yeah, it's like, do you like hugs from me? As long as they're not weird. So if I just gave you a normal bro hug? Right. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. All right, all right. Come here. Okay. Joe? Do you like it? Joe, this is weird now. Do you like it? Joe! Answer the question! This is getting weird. Answer his question. Do you like it? It was at first. Okay, enough. Enough. Up! Alright, let's get back into more topics and then we'll get back into some questions uh, later on in the talk show. So, uh, so uh, anyways, let me talk about NASCAR Heat 2 because I had the privilege and the opportunity from 704 Games. They invited me on Saturday at Sonoma to meet them and get my hands on NASCAR Heat 2. I will say, when I played NASCAR Heat 2, they were still working on the game. They, st um, I was still playing the alpha build of NASCAR Heat 2, um, because they they actually they got all the paint schemes and drivers all set up for Monster Energy. But remember when I mentioned that I wasn't supposed to mention much about the Xfinity Truck Series? Well, same thing here. Um, they did not. Uh, they have not gotten all the schemes done, all the drivers uh, approval, all the sponsors approval yet on the Xfinity and the truck series and all that they got some drivers done in both the series and some of the schemes already approved and all like that but oh 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 uh, uh -oh. oh god oh hold on okay it looks like it's smoothing out again okay. that was weird it just kind of froze up a little bit anyways um you know, I, I mean, like I said, some schemes and drivers were approved, and some of them were not yet. Like I said, when I tried on NASCAR Heat 2, it was uh, it was still an alpha build. They were still working on it. However, I will say, um, which I'm glad they're still working on it. I would hate that if they finished the game like two and a half to three months before the game comes out. I'm glad it's still being worked on and all like that. Um but they, they told me they should be done at least towards the end of July, maybe into mid-August and all like that. They should finally get the full game done and all like that. Now, um, I will say the the graphic lighting has improved on NASCAR Heat 2, in my opinion. The driving, I will say, Zach, don't do that. Sorry. Now, I'm not sure if they'll do any changes. Zach. God darn it! I'm, I'm that watching that. the screen. I can see you making dumb faces. Okay, well, how is that one? I just did, <laughs> just now was it's just face. so weird. Anyways, weird. um, so anyways, um, I feel like the lighting and graphics got a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit of an improvement. Um, the driving, the driving, like the driving model, the driving handling on NASCAR Heat 2 looks to be improved. Now, not saying that they won't still work on it um, after, from the time I got my hands on it to the time September 12th comes along. They could still do some changes on it and all that. Um, but I feel like the driving is better. Um, and the AIs... Um, seems to be more competitive and all that. That you gonna sneeze? No, it went away now. Um, I the the AIs and all that seems to be more competitive on the hardest difficulty, which I like that. I like that there's more competition because I feel like with NASCAR Heat Evolution, not saying the AIs were that terrible, but it could have it could have been better based on AIs and racing and all like that. I feel like there's more improvement on the AI competition, computer competition, on NASCAR Heat 2. Um, when I tried out the truck series, I tried out Eldora. Let me tell you something. That's something to get a little used to because it's a dirt track. You're kind of drifting, obviously, but you don't want to, like, uh, you don't, you kind of want to tap the, the, you kind of want to, like, tap the steering at Eldora in the truck series. 
or else you're probably gonna most likely spin. You don't want to overdo the steering in Eldora, or else you're gonna spin out. Um, so that's something to get used to racing the Eldora track in the truck race on that game. Um, but it looks it looks cool. I mean, I like that. Um, what was it? Um, I tried out the Xfinity series. It was good as well. I did try out some of the new tracks, like especially in the tracks, these like. Uh, the Canadian Tire uh, Most Sport track uh, in Canada for the truck race. That's pretty cool. However, I've never raced at that track before, so I had to learn the track. Something I need to get used to the track, for sure. Uh, what other track was there? What was... Can you not? Sorry. Anyways, uh, I tried out the, uh, the Canadian track in the truck series. Something I need to get used to because I've never raced at that track before. Um... The AIs in the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series were still getting worked on. Still hasn't been, uh, still hasn't been finished yet. Um, the split screen, I liked it. Um, when, I, uh, when I met up with uh, 704 Games, I actually did some split screening with them. Split screen looks good. Can't wait for that. Um, you know, I, I feel like... I feel like there's an improvement on NASCAR Heat 2 compared to NASCAR Heat Evolution. And I'm really looking forward to the full game coming out September 12th for the, for the PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. Those are the three, three uh, consoles it's coming out on. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. But uh, I, I, I feel like NASCAR Heat 2 is, is an improvement over NASCAR Heat Evolution. I hope, I really hope 704 Games really... I, I like the direction that 704 Games is going with. Like, bringing back all the three series and all that. Bringing back the split screening. Uh, you know, and all, all that. I like the direction they're going with the NASCAR games. Can it... I feel like there still needs to be a little bit more improvement on, on, NAS, on their games and all like that. But I will say NASCAR Heat 2 is going to be better than NASCAR Heat Evolution and all that. Uh, just because of what's what's been added to NASCAR Heat 2. The light, like I said, the graphic and lighting is better, in my opinion. The driving model is better in NASCAR Heat 2. Um, of course, a few things to still get used to with the Xfinity and Truck Series and all that. But uh, I feel like NASCAR Heat 2 is going to be a good game. It's going to be a... Fun game to play. Uh, September 12th, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. Um, and I do have a couple pictures when I met up with uh, with 704 Games at Sonoma. Let me just find that. Okay, yeah, so... These are the guys. Okay, so on the left is... Uh, this is when I was trying it out um, with the Xbox One controller. And oh, God, focus. God, I hate that, man. Uh, but on the left in the blue shirt is Matt Dusenberry, and on the right is Sean Burke. Two great guys. These guys are really nice, and that's why I really want 704 Games to be a high-potential company for NASCAR games, all like that. I want them to improve. I really want them to do well with their NASCAR games. And like I said, this is their, own, this is their second game coming up, their second NASCAR game coming up. Uh, they got a lot of bad feedback with NASCAR Heat Evolution, all like that. And even before NASCAR Heat 2 comes out, they're still getting bad re bad feedback about NASCAR Heat 2 when the game's not even out yet. And I not know. a lot of these people have tried it. I really wish 704 games have high potential. I feel like they do. They're really nice people. I want them to be successful in the NASCAR gaming community and all like that. I feel like, I feel like they can do well. Now, they sent, <laughs> they sent us a gift... Zach, can you get that for me? Yeah. 704 Games sent me a gift. It's a poster, and I thought at first it was going to be one of those roll-up posters. It's not. Check this thing out. Um, yeah. This is the uh, NASCAR Heat 2 cover. Let me back up a so they can see the whole thing. Oh, oh, God. Who's that? Oh, great. Great. Seven guys. Great. Hi. How oh, are you? I can't even see either. Great. What do you think about this? Is that sharp or it's not? It's bigger than I thought. It, yeah, yeah. I really thought when they said, hey, we're going to get you a poster, I thought it was going to be one of those roll-up posters. 
Yeah. It's not. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's It not. looks cool, though. Isn't it? It looks yeah, cool. Yeah, it does. It looks really nice. I like the cover, too. I. We just got to figure out a place for it. I'm feeling over there. I feel like I could hang it over there on the side of the green screen. Maybe over there. I don't know. I think you want to put it, like, on your ceiling, man. <laughs> yeah, ceiling. there's no room. So you can stare there, stare at night in the dark. Right. Zach, have a seat. So, that's a gift from 704 Games. I got to thank him for that. It was totally unexpected. And Dad was there, too. Awesome. Um, he got nice to, people. He, nice people. 704 Game, um, Matt, Sean, all the people at 704. Uh, we don't want to forget Ed and Kathleen, the owners, the super people. Uh, uh, all I can say is, you guys know I'm not a big gamer and all no. like that. Uh, but I watched Joe test this game the other day, uh, give it last minute tests and all like that. It's gorgeous to look at. It is just very impressive to look at. Um, the split screen is very cool. The, uh, the graphics are spectacular. This, the, uh, the, the paint schemes on the cars that you can do. Um, and also some of the other things. Did you tell them about the, uh, the fill-in cars? Oh yeah, um, I didn't mention that. Um, I'm going to be discussing about what we're expecting online. I will tell you this right now. The 60-second timer that was added into NASCAR Heat Evolution, unfortunately, they are not able to take out the 60-second timer for NASCAR Heat 2. Actually, they have no assets to take out that timer either. Yeah. And that I, that kind of surprised me when I first heard that, but... That's something, that's something, though, they said they, it could change after hearing some of their comments. Uh, that we I, mean, I mean, I mean, they could still take the time, yeah. maybe, to right take now. it out, because, like, they're still working on it. Right, so... We're gonna, they're, they're putting little refinements into it. We uh, talked to them about one of the refinements we think we'd like to see, um, and they thought that might be a, a good idea. And so, uh, But like I said, from what we saw the other day, we were there about an hour with them, and Joe was testing it out, and I was watching what was going on, talking to Matt, talking to Sean. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful to look at. It is, uh, it is spectacular. To the the lighting, the, in my opinion, the lighting and graphics looks improvement there's improvement in there it's uh i mean i like nascar heat evolution the original i like because it wasn't the same old same old it, as everything yeah. else i like this too because it really looks like a lot of work has gone into it they've done a lot of thought they listened to the uh the racing uh and the gaming uh fan base uh, and uh they put some real money into it and i think it's uh it's going to be a real hit it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous to look at. That's all I gotta say. Even if you're not a gamer, just to watch it going on. Uh, one thing also they told us about you know if you have a five or six of your friends get together to to race uh, eight or nine, the game fills in the rest of the starting yeah. forty, and the starting forty the the filling cars race just as hard. They're trying to win and all like that, but they have some manners. You won't find in uh, the filling cars intentionally wrecking. The people who are actually playing the game, the filling cars are there. They're they're there to race hard. They're uh, they're going to do exactly what they're supposed to do, what you would do in a race. But the filling cars won't be wrecking you. They won't be taking it out of the game. There won't be any reason for you to say, "Oh, the the machine ruined my game," or "The machine wrecked me," or something right. like that. The there's going to be rules and uh, and like manners. The uh, the filling cars are going to have good manners and and. Uh, we think that's uh, exciting too. That you have a full complement, uh, a full field of cars to start the race, but um, that it still will be you racing uh, against your friends, racing against the machine. But there won't be any just random wrecking by the machine. The machine won't take you out. It will let you race. It will let you do your best, and all like that. It should be a whole lot of fun. Right. I. I, I think. I was going to mention that. Yeah, so what he's saying is that, let's say I set up an online lobby, and I only get like six other people in a 40-spot 40, uh, 40 lobby. Um, if we're not able to fill up the rest of the uh, lobby with actual online players, there is an option now for NASCAR Heat 2 that you can do f like fill in the computer... The, the rest of the field with computer drivers now 
which I feel like that's pretty cool, and that should lead to more competition and all that. Not only, like you, know, like you mentioned, you're not, not just racing the other online players, you're racing against the computers as well, which that's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I like that idea. Um, I, that's something I honestly would never think about, but the fact no, that, that... that adds to the, to the realism. That ex the adds to the excitement, too. I that, feel like it's the, more exciting. And the realism, because in a regular uh, a cup car race, you wouldn't be racing five or six other cars. You're racing a full field of 40, and that's what the game is going to do. It's going to give you, if you choose, if you like to do so, a full field of 40 of legitimate cars. There won't be any starting parkers out there. There won't be any uh, old jalopies, right? There will be yeah. what? Nothing. There, but but uh, there will be uh, 40 legitimate cars that start the race, and you will be racing uh, in a regulation field, a, uh, a realistic full field of cars. So that should be pretty good. Right. I mean, that's an option you can have. If you want to fill in the rest of the field, you can. If not, that's okay, too. If you just want to race with the six or seven other competitors, that's fine, too. It's just an option that you can uh, add into online gaming of NASCAR Heat 2. Um, like I said, still working on the game. Um, so who knows if they there will be some more improvements of the game before September 12th comes along. And I still got two and a half months left of working on it. And uh, I feel like they can do a lot more from from now until... Yeah, you never know. It, it's uh, when, when you sign off a piece of software, you, you never know. It gets tweaked to the very last minute. Yeah. It's like, it's like publishing a book. It's like making a movie and, you know, they're cutting scenes two days before it hits the theater. You know, so uh, you never know. But from what we've seen, uh, it's a beautiful looking game. It, it's just beautiful to look at. And uh, in talking to Matt and Sean uh, and the uh, improvements that they've made and all like that, we're excited about it to, to see it. Like I said, I'm not even a gamer, but I watched this thing and it's tremendous. I, I will watch Joe and, and all and his guys that uh, watch it race I, uh, because it's just amazing to see. And I think you'd be happy with it. So let's talk about some real racing, Joe. <laughs> right? Yeah. So anyways, like I said, you guys are looking forward to the game September September 12th um, for a PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. So we'll just see uh, what more work needs to be done and see what we have in store once NASCAR E2 comes out. I feel like it's going to be better and all that. I feel like it's going to be a better game. And like I said, it's their second game, so... I feel like there's gonna be more. It's gonna be more excitement, more fun added into it. Now, you say you want to do real racing now. Let's talk about real racing. Sonoma. Sonoma. Yeah, we Toyota did. Save Mart 350. Beautiful weekend in San Francisco, right, Zach? Yeah, yeah. we did. We did it's discuss that. So great, great. We, I just put it from my standpoint. Uh, hey, did you hear I talked about the dead fly in my drink? Uh, no. I no. I told him about that. That reminds me of an old joke. It's like, waiter, what's that fly doing in my soup? The I waiter says, looks thing. like the backstroke. I might, I, might <laughs> have to, I might have to contact McDonald's. Yeah, right what's up. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, a great we uh, race weekend in uh, in Sonoma. Uh, Joe and I were guests of, um, of uh, 704, Games. 704 Gaming. And uh, we got to go in the pits, in the garage, um, you name it, on the track, Saturday and Sunday, uh, got to meet uh, quite a few people, a number of people, yeah. close up to the drivers, just reach out and touch them close, you know what I mean? That close to the drivers. We, but we didn't do that. No, no, we don't no. reach out and touch them, and you know, all like that. But we did bother one guy for his autograph. Oh, no. Here we <laughs> oh, yeah. Here oh, we yeah. Go. Landon Castle. Yeah. Got the autograph right then and there. It was perfect. Joe was a, Joe. Joe basically stopped him and asked him politely if he could have the autograph for me, and uh, and got it for me because uh, it was just it was cool. Landon Castle's a cool guy. Did a Q and A with a bunch of kids before the race, and uh, answering kids t questions about NASCAR and racing and things like that. Really nice guy. Is super super nice guy. As pretty much are all the drivers. Quite frankly, 
they're all signing autographs for people wandering through the pits uh, on their way to the, the race track. That's right, Landon Castle. <laughs> right? Wandering through the uh, the pits and all like that, stopping, signing what a helmets. Hair. Signing. That's hair, I swear. We like the hair, right? And like four fingers, right? Sunglasses on the head. But no, we went to the race. Always a great race at Sonoma. A lot of fun. Uh, the weather was cooler than it is most years, which was nice. Um, great flyover after the national anthem. Guys did put a kick in the afterburners, two F-22s, boom, straight up. We, look, we were looking straight up into the afterburners of the jets. It was awesome to see. It was totally cool. Great seats up in, in uh, turn seven, right? A lot of action, a couple of spins up in turn seven. Yep. Right? Daniel Suarez does the 360, kicks it back in a gear and heads right down the track. Yep. Right? Loses a few spots. But, hey, it's just a 360 spin, right? Right. No big deal. Boris said spun there. Boris said spun there. Then you had the Danica and Stenhouse in that area. Oh, Danica up in 4A. Coming down towards 7 is turn 4A. Danica and, and, uh, and Ricky got into it. Uh, not actually her fault. Yeah, she, apparently Larson made it three wide, and underneath Junior and Danica, and of course, Larson hit Junior, which Junior hit Danica, and Danica went around, and then right back across in front, in front of Stenhouse. Right in front of Stenhouse, she got some damage. He got the most damage. Uh, who was it all day long? Was running around the uh, the twenty three car all day long. Had parts falling off it all day the, long, like the, front fender. The, this part of the driver. What? The Israel driver? Oh, yeah. Hail yeah, yeah. on day, right? Yeah. Looked like a nice guy. Came right by. We, in fact, we saw him in the hotel when we were there. It was 704 game. Um, but lost, uh, lost a fender, lost a bumper, lost a hood, lost the other fender. Looked like the Destruction Derby runner-up. But uh, finished the race, right? He was out there, finished the race, did a good job. Um, uh, but... A lot of a lot of bumping and banging in turn seven, which is why if you ever get to go to Sonoma, turn seven is where to sit, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. And the higher up, the better, because what comes after the race at turn seven? The burnout. The burnout, right? Burnout smoke. Yes, we love to smell it. Get the burnout smoke. <laughs> Harvick did a couple of nice donuts right up there. Yep. Crowd stays, gets a little burnout smoke. It was great, great. Good time, good time at uh, over the weekend. Uh, what else is going on at Sonoma? What else did we see? It was cool. Well, I mean, lots well, of fans. Lots of fans. Lots of fans. We were glad for you, the fans that showed up. People, nice people. A uh, bunch of good guys, and uh, some of them with their uh, their folks that they're with their mom or their dad or whatever. A bunch of nice people. NASCAR fans are always the best, right? Yep. If you go to any uh, any big sporting event, the crowd is always the best at NASCAR races. Everybody's always mellow. Everybody's always having a good time watching the race because we all love the speed. You know, it's not like you're one team against another and getting into big fracases like last night at the Dodgers and Angels, another big fight in the stands. But uh, you know, you don't see that at a NASCAR race. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's cheering for their favorite driver and uh, and just just love the need, just love the speed, right? Yep. Absolutely. Good, good stuff. A lot of fun. Anything. And Zach, how was your weekend in San Francisco? It was really good. It, very nice weather. Yeah. Very, very nice weather. We went to the race. Zach gets out and he, he likes to uh, go to the city and uh, and uh, look at the buildings. Zach is big into architecture. He can probably tell you when every one of those buildings was built. <laughs> and every bridge in town that, uh, that you go across, he knows all about those and, uh, and all that crazy stuff. Uh, it's amazing. I don't know where he keeps it up in his brain, but it is, uh, he knows it. I got to tell you. And uh, let's see. Where do, what else do you get to go on? The, uh, the ferry boat with the classic cars, right? Yeah. Did you should tell him about that one? Yeah, the Eureka. Uh huh. Yeah, I did tell him about that one. Okay, well, that's cool. That's, uh, that's really good. And uh, just a, a nice trip. Good weather. Can't complain about it. Had a, a lot of fun. But uh, the highlight, of course, uh, for me and Joe, at least one of the highlights, was Saturday and Sunday in the pits, in the garage, wandering among the haulers and the drivers and the, uh, and the media people, 
Uh, we got a good picture of, of uh, Joe with uh, Larry McReynolds. Yeah. After Larry did his intro on uh, NASCAR race day, a little after 11 a.m., got a picture of Joe and Larry McReynolds. Super nice guy. The Fox people are all really, really nice people. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll get a picture with you and all like that. They don't just shine you on and walk past you or anything like that. They're all nice people. We've seen uh, Mike Joy there. Who do we see? We see Chris Neville. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Little. Yep. Jeff. Or so Jeff. Jeff, did you tell him about your selfie? Uh, yep. Oh. Met Jeff Gordon. Did you again. show him your selfie? I did not. Oh, you got to show him the selfie. I will. Joe got a nice, uh, a nice picture of Jeff Gordon, who was nice enough to stop and take a picture with Joe. Oh. Check oh. it out. Uh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect weather. Nice picture. Good deal. Right. Yep. That's so. uh, it was uh, pretty cool. Can't can't complain about that. Jeff Gordon is a super nice guy. You know, he's uh, there. You go. There's Joe and Larry. Uh, focus. You focus, focus really focus. well on the Jeff Gordon picture. Which yeah, so just pull back a little there. There you go. There you go. There you go. And all, and all like that. And then of course, the uh, show him the cool flyover, Joe. Yep. The. Uh, the stunt jets with the red, white, and blue smoke. Man, this that is was great. awesome. There's actually six of them in that picture. There you go. Uh, all ex-military flyers, uh, ex-blue uh, angels, and, and and all like that. Uh, Canadian snowbirds, uh, all ex-military guys that do uh, the uh, the show previous uh, uh, to the race, and we all know who this guy is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah show him. Uh, Who's that? Uh, show him that one. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Who's that guy? We know who that is. That that is one Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, God. Walking right by. Yeah. Right in the pit. There you go, Joe. Perfect. Junior was nice. Stopping and sending autographs. A lot of people. Of course, a lot of people around him. A lot of people. Oh, yeah. Junior had the crowd, man. He's a legend. The, the legend is for sure. But Junior, Maybe to the fan base. My gosh. My gosh. Junior had the crowd in. What? Who is this? Who is this, Joe? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. There I am. Died and gone to heaven, Landon <laughs> Castle. Oh, my God. All God. right. Getting the autograph from Landon Castle. Right on. Yeah. Oh, now God. I could die a happy man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sure. But, uh, no, that was cool. That was really cool. Anyway, so who's on with us today, Joe? Uh, a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people, of course. Did you tell them about the letter? No, because I don't have it in here. We got we got a nice fan letter yesterday from a young fan in, in Utah who uh, wrote to Joseph and Zachary. Uh, we're just always happy to hear from the young fans, a young man named Jesus. Wrote us a nice handwritten letter telling us he's a fan. Hey, Sus, here's a shout out to you, buddy. We appreciate the fan mail. You guys know on our website we have a, uh, 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 you know, our PO box right on the home page of the website. You want to write in, you want to ask questions, you want to write in and make comments about what you think about the show. Write in and tell us what you think about how we're doing with the show and uh, maybe what you'd like to see, maybe some topics or anything like that. We're always happy to get the mail. The mail is cool stuff, you know. And uh, snail mail is still is still cool. Email, chatting, that's all cool tool. Uh, cool too. <laughs> wow. But uh, hand, somebody takes the time to write us a handwritten letter or to send us a drawing. Some people send us drawings and things like that. We think that is just the uh, that is the best that you take your time, that you're uh, that much of a fan. You take your time and uh, make the effort to send it to us. We're really appreciative of. Uh, the fans who do that, right? Mm -hmm. So what else is going on, Joe? Who's in with us today? Is my buddy Spencer there? Yep, he's here. Spencer, Minions, D yeah. three, right? Movies coming out tomorrow. D three, you gonna go see D three? Spencer, are you already in line? I guarantee you, Joe. Spencer's probably already in line. He's got his folding chair, got his little pup tent, camp out on the sidewalk, be ready to watch the movie tomorrow, right, Spencer? Just give me a yes or no, Spencer. Is all we want to know. We saw Spencer at the racetrack. Love Spencer. He's a, he's uh 
Uh, it, it's what is it says, I'm here. I can see Spencer says something. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Anyway, we saw Spencer at the racetrack. Spencer came over, sat with us for a bit. Uh, nice guy. Big NASCAR fan and a big fan of the channel. One of our uh, moderators always does a terrific job. There's a shout out to Spencer and all you moderators. We're very appreciative of what you do for us, that you're on the broadcast and you keep an eye on things and, and you help out Boss Lady because she's got her hands full with these two characters here, let me tell you. But uh, it's just a heck of a thing. Who else is in to see us, Joe? Um, you know, obviously Boss Lady. Oh, Boss, we love Boss Lady. Mwah. Right? We have Alyssa. Yeah. We have, yeah. But, uh... Said MRT, how are you doing? Is another one of our favorite moderators in with us all the time. Takes helps take care of things around here. Keeps uh, keeps the law in order. But uh, looks like the chat's going pretty good today, Joe. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, anybody of you guys talked about what's coming up on Saturday night? Uh, Daytona. Daytona's on Saturday night. Tomorrow night's the Xfinity race. Xfinity, though. The Xfinity tomorrow night. Daytona yeah. Saturday night. Hope you guys all tune into uh, NBC's first broadcast of the year. The, uh, the summer Daytona race, night race at Daytona. Always something fun going on at Daytona. Always something unexpected, like guys running into jet dryers and, uh, you know, six hour rain delays and crazy stuff. You never know what's happening at Daytona. Daytona is yeah. a cool place. I um, like to get there one day myself, like a couple characters I know did. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. But had a good time with that. So, uh, what else is coming up? Right? What's after Daytona? What's the next race? Did you say Daytona? Daytona. 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 I'm, ah. thinking, I'm thinking about Florida and fish. They're, they're, yeah, they're close to the ocean. <laughs> so it is true. They are close <laughs> they're to the ocean. Close to yeah, about the ocean. five miles out. Yeah. All right. Go to the restaurant and order a grilled Daytona fish. Daytona fish. <laughs> Could happen. I'm losing it, guys. I gotta oh, no. tell you. Hey, Joe, you used to eat tuna when That's you were right. younger. Why you we guys, when, when Joe was a little kid, he used to eat tuna sandwiches for breakfast. Anyways. On uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, Anyways, tuna sandwiches. after Daytona. Yes, Joe. It is Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. You know, they got some good chicken there. Yeah, they have good chicken in Good Kentucky. chicken in Kentucky. Very good, Joe. Kentucky fried chicken. There you go, see. Where do they go after that? Uh, New Hampshire. Um, that, New Hampshire. Which, you know, I don't think there's any food associated with New Hampshire. I mean, that Vermont has syrup, Maine has lobster, New Hampshire has what? Sour cream? I don't know. Anyway, uh -huh. what about New after New Hampshire? Oh, that's uh, the Brickyard. The Brickyard. Next year, the Brickyard is the last race before the chase, right? Yeah. It is your last chance next year to I, get into the chase. I don't agree with that, though. Because the the NASCAR races at Indy has just, in my opinion, has fallen apart. Fallen apart? You mean yeah. they're they're a little bit tame, Joe? Is that no, what you mean? No, it's just say? that there's no racing involved. Like there's no passing. It's yeah. boring. Well, they're talking about restrictor plates. So is New Hampshire. It's boring. Yeah, New Hampshire is uh, not the most exciting place in town, but hey, it's on the schedule, right? Uh huh. And it's better than no race at all, right? Yeah. Just, I don't know. It's just better than watching WWE or 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 uh, skateboarding or professional bull riding. Some of those other uh, sports that are on TV. <laughs> Am I right, Zach? Yeah, you are, you actually are right. All right, guys. What's the best sport to watch after racing? After racing, what's the second best sport to watch on TV? Uh, like this. Baseball. Thank you, Zach. Baseball, Joe. You're in baseball, some, Joe. Some people is going to disagree on you. Well, that, some people like sure football. Football is cool. You know, if uh, if football is your thing, I think there's a lot of there's, standing around in football. There's football. There's snooze basketball. Guys. There's hockey. There's hey, what about curling? Curling. Curling. Curling, curling night in America. Golf. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Golf. All right. No, uh, let's see. People are saying baseball. Someone's saying football. Basketball, we got that in there. Probably football. Somebody said, yeah, you got know, more football. Of, you can't argue with it. A lot of people love football. I mean, you know, whatever. 
Myself. Cricket. I like cricket. God bless. Who said cricket? Spencer. Is, is Spencer? Table tennis. Right on, Spencer. If you've ever seen, like, professional table tennis players, and these guys are about 15 feet back off the surface, that is nuts. We if got... you've never seen it, uh, YouTube it somewhere. Look for the high level, the professional we table got... tennis guys, mm -hmm. and you wonder, they're, like, not even in the same zip code with the table, and yet what? they're smacking it. Mm -hmm. every... Oh, so you can't even see the ball move so fast. Right. Those guys are crazy. Well, we got hockey. We got hockey. We got regular tennis. Yeah. Table uh, tennis. Regular tennis. Texas Sports Car Champion. We're, we're talking about after racing. That don't oh, count. Wait, wait, wait. Who said the CFL? CFL is wild because the field is another what? Uh, it's the, the end zones are 20 yards deep. There are two 50-yard lines and there's center lines, so the whole thing runs about like 150 yards, and it's wider. Oh my God! There are states in the United in, in America that aren't as big as a CFL field. Honest, uh, that's uh, the CFL La is, uh, La is pretty good too. Lacrosse, field La hockey, lacrosse. field hockey. I'm glad we have girls watching. All right, okay. anyway, field hockey. Hey, field hockey is cool, right? Anything out there, uh, to, out there running around, having a good time in the in the fresh air and stuff. Right? Badminton. Badminton. Hey, badminton is crazy too. If you if you look at the Olympic badminton guys, they hit that thing so fast you can't see it. We got. It's like whoa, whoa. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Got soccer, volleyball, women's basketball. Women's basketball. Okay. Um, right. If you would like. I mean, uh, what else? What about anybody that like professional swimming? Nah. Now, cliff diving. We like the cliff diving. Uh, cliff diving. I have not. I mean, right? Ten meter, ten meter platform. Not. Those people are nuts too. Yeah. Right? Spin about seven or eight times and then hit the water so straight it doesn't even make a little blip. How you do that? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. You know, and how many times you do that? I have no idea. But those guys are crazy too. You know, but uh, lots of crazy stuff, right? Lots of good sports, right? Pretty much all sports are good, especially if you get to play them, you get out there and participate, have a good time, and just rock and roll it, right? Yep. That's, that's the deal. Anyway, so Joe, let's wrap up here. We've got three minutes left. Three minutes, I know, but you talked forever. What? What? <laughs> I talked forever in my butt. Oh, good God, we hope not. Anyway, so what else was cool on our trip? What else did you like? Just getting away. Getting away? It's cool. Everyone's oh, fine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're back and uh, oh, well. work and yeah, 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 listen, yeah, to, yeah. Real listen to Boss Lady doing this. And God bless Boss Lady. We love Boss Lady. Yes, we at do. Least right? I get we to pick, at least I get to pick on her a little bit. Yeah, more. but please, Joe, remember, never criticize the people who cook for you, okay? Exactly. You're gonna have serious problems. Not this. Trust me, they have all. They are all this. powerful. This. Trust. What? What? This? Yeah, this. This. I, that's <laughs> yeah. My point. Just see my hat. My hat. My. Show them my hat. Yeah. It's the Hall of Fame. NASCAR hat. Hall of Fame hat. It goes along with my NASCAR Hall of Fame shirt. Honest to God, my NASCAR Hall of Fame shorts. Undershorts. But anyway. I like him. Right. Well, it's cool. Do you see on your Blaney shirt? Yeah, I've had... They oh, like I gotta this. tell you one more thing. One more thing. Something historic happened in San Francisco this weekend that is unbelievable. Joe went to a NASCAR race and did not buy a t-shirt. It's unbelievable. I've been to a NASCAR race before and it's not bought a, anything. Are you kidding? You always come back with an extra suitcase. Zach, Zach, I didn't, Honestly, I didn't buy anything at Charlotte, did I? I didn't know. This no. guy he, he has more NASCAR At Talladega, I didn't buy anything at Talladega either, huh? No, Zach, no, Zach you had it shipped me. home. No, Zach was with me. He knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, Zach? Yeah, yeah. Who, who has to the last thing I bought was at Fontana. Who gets to see your laundry hanging up downstairs, right? Yeah, but I've had those. Who gets to see your some dirty time. stuff sitting on the I, floor? The, the, I bought most of it at Daytona, <laughs> though. I bought most of it at Daytona. That's, Is that right? Actually, I got this at Phoenix. I, most of the stuff I bought was at Daytona. Is that, all right, all right, fine. But I mean, I, we thought it was amazing that Joe actually went to a race and did not buy a NASCAR t-shirt. Like, Why, whoa. did you want me to? Huh? Uh, 
quite frankly, I don't care. You earn the money, it's your money. You spend your money however you want. Well, you're the one that does you know? laundry. Uh, just because I can't stand the smell any longer. <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway, what else going on? That's it. When's the next broadcast? Uh, next Thursday. Next Thursday is the next talk show, right? Yeah. Right. These guys will be on for the entire hour next Thursday. I won't be sticking my ugly mug in here next Thursday because I have work. Mm. But it's probably yeah, anyway, the, probably best. It's, it's probably best for <laughs> all involved, right? Especially the fans and the viewers. We love you guys, whoa, whoa, though. Whoa, whoa. Fans, wait, viewers. You think about you. you think about them. You think about mom, though. We love oh my mom. God. We mom. We love mom. AKA boss lady. Just don't. Is, and you know what? Did you get through the whole hour and not get hauled to the call to the hauler, Joe? Yeah. Awesome. Just, 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 <laughs> just don't, five. just don't, don't piss her off, and you'll Thanks, be just boss fine. boss lady didn't call us to the hauler. And oh, it yeah. just don't piss her off, and you'll be just fine. We'll be just fine, right? Just give, so you, what, what about that smile you give her? Oh my God. <laughs> that smile. But now I believe she's gonna. Get us. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I'm stuck. I Dad, I don't think you're gonna... uh, Joe, Joe, I think I'm stuck. We're gonna go. Yeah. I think it's time to end this. Okay, I think it's... Yeah, it's time to end this. Stop it! <laughs> 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 We're gonna head off, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the full hour of nonsense again. <laughs> Tune in back next Thursday for another one. Joseph Lombard with Zach and with Dad. He... We're just going <laughs> to shut this up. Take care, guys. Good night. Turn it off, please. Turn it off. Please. Now. <laughs>